Okay. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the Public Works Pub Public Safety Committee. I'm subbing today for Terry Borneman, who is excused with me on the committee, is the Roxanne Murphy and the April Barker. And Dan Hamill is visiting us here today. We have four items. The first item is the Department of Ecology Lift Station SRF loan application. Go ahead, Ted. Thank you. Good morning, Ted Carlson, Public Works Department, along with Chad Schulhauser, City Engineer. Um, this item before the council this morning is an information only item. Uh, the city is in the process of uh, putting in for state revolving fund loans for future lift station improvements. We have three lift station upgrades identified in our capital plan, uh, West Bakerview sewer lift station, West Horton sewer lift station, and our Rotor Street lift station. Uh, we've identified these lift stations as in need of both uh, efficiency upgrades as well as some capacity upgrades. Originally identified in the 2007 sewer comprehensive plan. Um, we have recently done some additional conveyance modeling. Uh, we hired an outside consultant to help us look in more detail at the projects identified in the sewer comp plan and actually go into some much greater detail about how the growth in the north end of the city has impacted our sewer conveyance capacity and those three lift stations that I identified. Uh, we do, a need, do indeed need to do the work on those lift stations in the near term, sometime in the next three or four years. So we've identified that in the capital plan, uh, which we'll go over in more detail when Public Works presents our budget to the council. We originally identified uh, the funding for those lift stations to come from a sewer revenue bond because they would be beyond our ability to fund with our current annual sewer rates, we would need to finance them. Uh, however, there's a great opportunity to apply for these state revolving fund monies that come through EPA, from EPA through the Department of Ecology. Uh, we've used this money before. It's money that uh, we use for our water treatment, pretreatment project on the water side. And we've also uh, used this type of financing for some of our stormwater projects. Uh, in the past, we've not had to come to council as part of the application process because we've relied on our uh, comprehensive plans that went through a public process, including SEPA. But in working with Ecology this time around, our uh, sewer comprehensive plan uh, is a little bit dated. We have not yet updated the citywide comprehensive plan. We're very close to doing that. But in this interim period, they suggested have a public meeting that would, uh, and then resubmit SEPA. So we've done that for this application. We've submitted an application to our planning department, and we need to have a meeting in a public setting, and not a public hearing, but just a public meeting so that people could comment on it if they'd like to. So that's what we're doing here today. Uh, the loans, if we're successful, they're 20 year loans at 1.5%, so a much better interest rate than we would get on the open market if we did do revenue bonds. So we believe it's a good funding source. We think we have three projects that will fare well through the application process. And uh, we just wanted to bring it forward to council as part of the SEPA process and certainly answer any questions you might have about the projects or uh, the funding in general. Ted, the 1.5 interest rate, is that there? That's there now or will it be there when, when we get ready to do it? Is that what you're saying? Uh, it will be there when we, when we do it. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, they've set the interest rates, I believe, for this round already and they're at 1.5. These programs generally they're tied to the, the bond market index and they're usually around 60% of what you would get on the open bond market. Uh, but they've tied them at 1.5, very good interest rate for us. By comparison, uh, when our last revenue bonds that we put out were over 4%. So um, good interest rate saves us quite a bit over 20 years if we're successful. Dave, any questions, April? seems like it's in the best interest of the taxpayers. I'm, it's just as information only. Is, is this since you, I, I appreciate that you've been bringing things forward, but since if we are all in agreement, is, do you need help moving this forward any faster? Or No, it, it, is a, it is a bit of a unique thing that we need to do as part of the application process. So it really okay. doesn't require any council action. I think uh, if the council was opposed to it, that would certainly be something okay. we would want to know. But if there's no objections on the process, I think just by virtue of having a public meeting that's been advertised, we meet the requirements of the SEPA process and therefore we can submit a complete application to Ecology. So you don't need a statement from us? No, okay. no and just as a, as a follow-up, once we're, uh, we have our SEPA determination, we'll take that as well as the minutes from this meeting uh, and tonight's council meeting, send those off to Ecology just so we've checked all the boxes. 
And one final thing, if we are successful and we actually enter into a contract with Ecology, that comes back to council as well for your approval. That would take action. Okay. Anything else? Okay. Thank you, sir. The next yeah. item is an ordinance to the City of Bellingham amending various sections of the Bellingham Municipal Code in order to adopt the reference criminal codes of the Revised Code of Washington. Peter. Yeah, Peter Rafato, City Attorney's Office. Uh, this is an ordinance now uh, before the Council for your consideration on first and second. And uh, we presented this as a matter of information um, at the last meeting, I think it was. Um, and this is in, in the nature of updating our code so that we incorporate um, some of the provisions from state law in order to prosecute those, uh, those offenses in our municipal court. <clears throat> and the specific, uh, the specific items being incorporated include provisions relating to disclosing intimate images, surrender of weapons, and failure to register as a sex offender or kidnapping offender. And uh, I think it's fairly straightforward. Uh, you have uh, the ordinance in front of you. You also have the specific RCW provisions that will be incorporated into the municipal code. And beyond that, I'll um, try to answer any questions. Roxanne. I just move that we pass the ordinance to adopt by reference several criminal code cases of the revised code of Washington. Okay, motion been made. Any discussion? Just a question, Peter. Do you, do you deal with many of these? Um, I would say uh, no. We don't have a lot of these cases. This is uh, once in a while a case comes up, and um, typically we've got everything covered. But once in a while there's a new provision in state law. Um, law enforcement is aware we haven't yet adopted in, in the code. And what happens in that circumstance is that it still can be prosecuted in Whatcom County District Court. But we don't want to put that burden on district court. And we've, we have a policy that we're, we take those cases on ourselves. So. Um, we don't have these specific cases coming up. I think we, uh, a lot, I think we did have uh, a disclosing intimate images case recently that kind of prompted um, this being brought forward. That, that is being prosecuted. I don't know what the status is right now in, in district court right now. Is telephone harassment, can we get um, 9, 10, 11 o'clock callers, solicitors? Can we go after this? <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, are there any further questions? All those in favor of the motion will say aye. 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 All those opposed, motion carries 3 0. Next item is authorized First Amendment to agreement for the inmate housing with South Correctional Entity Score. Go ahead, Peter. So, this is, uh, this is the first of two really contract renewals, is the best way to describe this. And um, it's fairly routine in the, um, in the world of. Uh, uh, when jurisdictions are using other facilities, you have your contract. Sometimes it's for a year, sometimes it's longer. We, uh, when we entered into these contracts earlier this year, they were only for uh, the rest of the year. With SCORE, um, as we say, stated before, um, it's one of various tools to uh, address the situation that we're in with the Whatcom County Jail. Um, I can't emphasize enough how limited uh, our use is of the Whatcom County Jail at this point because we are uh, transporting pretrial inmates. Um, and in addition to that, even though we are transporting pretrial inmates um, under option one, there have been booking restrictions imposed, um, I want to say, in the last two weeks. Um, we don't anticipate using SCORE to any great extent, but we need to have all the tools available. Uh, when this happened, uh, when the booking restrictions were imposed, um, I believe it was in ju late July, August, we used SCORE like twice, I think. Uh, and that was actually a transport um, by BPD down to the, uh, the, the SCORE facility. Again, this is a last resort, but something we feel we should have um, in place as needed. Questions? Roxanne. Well, I just really like that we have this as a backup because situations can quickly change and we never have complete control over that. So I would move that we would authorize the contract to, uh, for the First Amendment to agreement for inmate housing with South Correctional Entity. Okay. Motion we made. April and Dan. Help me recall, when we go into this, it, there's no cost until we actually utilize the source. Yeah, this is an as-needed contract, and uh, the rate is, it, it, we indicated the rate went up. I, because we don't use this facility hardly 
at all. I don't recall what the previous rate was. It hasn't gone up by a lot, but it's still a very high rate. We don't, but we don't have any cost unless we use it. And um, this does um, this does in, this does extend the contract through December 31st, 2020. Um, but it's as needed, and I don't know. I suspect that they reserve the right to increase rates. Most of these contracts do. Dan, I recall the rate being 150 a, a day, or in the neighborhood of that. <clears throat> is the transportation fee still $400, or has it been changed to that? The transportation fee, I think, that stayed the same in the contract, but keep in mind the only way we've used it in the past was when BBD actually booked directly into the SCORE facility, so there was no transportation fee because we had an officer or two, I can't recall, probably two officers making the trip. Thank you. Okay, motion been made. All in favor say aye. 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 I suppose motion carries 3 0. Our last item is authorized First, Amend First Amendment to inmate housing agreement with Yakima County Department of Corrections. Yes, yeah, similar, um, similar item. Again, we're asking to essentially renew the contract. There is an increase uh, for the Yakima County Jail of 4.5%. As the letter indicated, this is their first increase um, for out of county users for a number of years, I guess in for the last four years. So we had bad timing on that because we just got in. But uh, um, but still, it's uh, it's understandable that they have this increase. We've had very very good experience with the Yakima County Jail. They've been very customer friendly. Um, Ryan Anderson, lead prosecutor, um, uh, Pat Lackey, the lead public defender, and myself uh, made a site visit. <clears throat> I want to say it was in uh, late August. We were we were. Um, we were impressed with the facility and the services they provided in terms of medical, mental health, um, and, uh, and they've been very good to work with. Um, and so I guess that's about it. This, this amendment would extend the contract uh, through December 31st, 2017, and sets forth the increased rates. And just so you know, we, uh, I kind of just took a look at our use of the Yakima County Jail. Um, you know, we started in January. Um, we were right around, I want to say, averaging about 250 bed days per month. Um, that's just looking at the numbers, that's rough. And then in September, we used 457 bed days. And a lot of that is because, again, we started transporting pretrial inmates. So that increased the use of the Yakima County Jail. And although we've done a lot of work to make those pretrial processes work. It's certainly not ideal. It's still, it's still problematic, um, but that's what we have to work with at this point, given the situation with the Whatcom County Jail. So how many do, do we transport a few at a time or? Yeah, we transport uh, twice a week, I believe it is, and we can have anywhere from zero to five transported. Who takes them over there? Yakima County, uh, they, yeah, they, ha they contract with like 35 jurisdictions. Oh, okay. And they have a number of Western Washington jurisdictions that they contract with. So they have a, um, they have a dedicate, they have dedicated uh, vehicles for this purpose, um, dedicated personnel for transport. They do not charge the city for that transport, nor do they charge the city a booking fee. Um, and, and the per diem, um, the per diem fee is going up. Um, to 50, well, I'm assuming it's going to be $57.20 a day because we won't likely have more than 25. Um, and that's what, 30 or 40 bucks cheaper than what we pay across the street? <clears throat> well, like this is that. the 2017 rate. We don't know yet what the Whatcom County rate will be for no, 2017, I so I can't do that calculation no, I, yet, yeah. but I can tell you that their 2016 rate is $98 no, per day, which was a 20% increase uh, from uh, the previous year. Okay, Roxanne. Well, my tribe also on occasion sends folks to Yakima, and so if it's good enough for our tribe, I hope it might be good <laughs> enough for Bellingham. So uh, I will move that we would authorize the contract with the Yakima County Department of Corrections. Okay, motion been made. Any discussion? Seeing none, all in favor say aye. 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 All opposed? Motion carries 3 0. That's it. Anything else to come before the committee? Meeting adjourned.